Hey everybody, Sparkfulness Jay here, playing more Dyson Sphere program, and I've decided to do some off-building uh, work. Um, the last few episodes uh, have even bored me; they were so tedious. Um, so I have decided that I'm going to uh, I'm going to design and, and start to build things off camera, and then I'm going to bring you in as I'm doing them. And the first of those is these turbines here. Um, turbines require um, every every one second. They take uh, two, or every one second they take one motor and one electromagnetic coil, and then uh, every two seconds they turn two of those into uh, one elect uh, whatever these things are called, um, electromagnetic turbine. So we need um, once we get our tier three stuff, we're gonna need uh, 20 factories on a side. Each one is gonna take in one per second of each of these, or two every two seconds, and then output one into this center line, which these do, and uh, send them back into this uh, station that we have here. Um, that's literally it. Uh, it's nothing major about it, except uh, it's really nice to be able to <laughs> lay multiple factories down. Um, unlike the uh, multi-build mod, the stock version of this has a limit to how many you can lay at once, and that limit is that many. <laughs> uh, there's just nothing I can do. It, it, I have to stop laying them here and then start doing this. Uh, and then once I get these things laid, the uh, the robots do the work, and uh, I just have to see where power stops working and lay a uh, power pole, and I think I'm going to put it here just to cover it. It looks like it might be able to go one more, but... You know, it's not going to hurt anything to have slightly more power poles than, <laughs> than I think I need. Um, but uh, that's going to take care of this. And then sadly, the um, um, we've got, again, um, we've got 5 and 5 is 10. We only have 12 total um, slots on here, so this is, the, this is the most we can do. And we're slowly moving our logistics stations this way, which is a problem. We're going to have to put some kind of divider in here because I'm just not making anything that... that, that has more space in it, at least not for the time being. So um, I need to uh, I need to lay these things. And let's see, these three are going to go over here. So they're, these two are going to go here. So let's uh, let's do this. Oh, I need to I need to set up my logistic request. Okay, we're going to be sending back these, and we're going to be demanding uh, these and these, and we'll just say local demand, remote demand, local demand, remote demand, and uh, that's it. So it doesn't matter which one of these is which. These three are going to be over here. So it's this one here is going to be, we'll say, motors. And I'm going to hit R twice to get to here. And I think, yeah, let's do it like this. And then this one is going to be magnets. And we'll do that with it. That means when this guy comes back, he's going to go into there. That means this guy is going to be, let's say, motors. Let's keep it so that the motors are always on the outside. And I think this will look okay. Now uh, we should probably do that. And then this guy here is going to be magnets. And I'm doing these one at a time because there is... Oh, wait. I, I can do this. Uh, there we go. I'm doing these one at a time because that way it, it mimics... Uh, what would happen uh, on the belt? <laughs> it's kind of funny that I'm actually going to do that because I think it looks better. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can we do that? So, it, yeah, that, I don't know. We'll, we'll pretend that looks better. Um, but anyway, yeah. So if, if you uh, like, if you if you have this on. Um, snap mode and then you dra drag it like this uh for for short distances it doesn't actually matter but, but as you go longer and longer it actually uh goes off the grid because of the the curvature of the of the planet so if you want to make sure that these things even off see notice how when i hit r see how that how this one here that's right here how it's slightly differently between the two um i actually want it to be snapped on all grid lines uh so we need to be cognizant of that sort of thing Anyway, moving on. Let's uh, let's lay this guy here, and then we'll go to double R to here. And then, but if I if I lay them like this, if I go one, two, three, four, five, that's exactly as if the game had laid them in snap mode. That's why I, that's why I was doing them one at a time. Uh, but anyway, so let's go continue here with uh, motors. Let's 
which we can do like this and then come back to here and then come out uh, vertical construction nice I'll be able to when I go home next uh, get that going so we want motors coming out uh, I think I can go to here and then that's kind of tight uh, I think that looks okay and then this last one is going to be magnets which we're gonna go kind of in a circle <laughs> kind of kind of making this up, up as I go along, but there you go. That'll get the mags going on, and obviously the uh, the greed things are coming back, and um, they're not going in here. Yeah, I never, I, I never put that all the way in, so there you go. But now we're filling up with these, and we've got plenty of these, and everybody's happy. This tower does not have power to it, so it should. It should also have drones and uh, vessels, and we're good. And we're using up a lot of the power, but that's just because this thing's, this thing's charging. All right, I'm back on my home world, and uh, I've decided to, to do x-ray cracking because um, it's actually better to run um, the output of your refinery through x-ray cracking before you just burn it <laughs> because uh, you get graphite and uh, more hydrogen out of it, and the, the cost to make it the... the is is less than the cost it would take to uh, to, uh, to to burn it so or the cost that you get from burning it so um, I've got this plan <laughs> and I don't know if it's a good one um, I, I've got oil here that's gonna go into this line then uh, I can delete this then these x-ray crackers are gonna pull the oil in and have hydrogen we'll get to that in a moment and uh, then generate hydrogen and graphite. Um, the hydrogen is going to go out here, and I just realized I did not filter these like a moron. Uh, so I'll do that off camera, but I'm going to filter that for hydrogen, and I'm going to filter this for, let's see, that's pulling in, so I need to filter this for graphite. And uh, I'm glad I noticed that before I started, because that would have been a huge pain. Uh, let's filter this for hydrogen. I'm, I'm just showing you this part. I'll, I'll do the copy paste later and then this for graphite um, And then they're gonna they're gonna pull in hydrogen here pull in oil here send out graphite here send out oil here and uh, We're gonna start here this guy. We're gonna feed him with two <laughs> hydrogen to start and then I'm going to uh, feed this oil line in and then I'm gonna power them and then we're going to witness amazingness. Uh, so I'm going to be back uh, after I power this up and set all these filters. Uh, oh, by the way, the filters are very easy to set. I just click this and then go boom. And then the filters are set. Uh, if you look here, see the filter is now set to uh, that. So it's it's not as hard as, as it looks. The copy paste in the game is uh, a <laughs> fantastic addition. But I'll be right back in a second when I get all this set up. And one more thing, uh, this this one here on the end had to be special. His uh, his hydrogen has to come out here because he needs to be able to to refeed his hydrogen. I'm not I'm not introducing any hydrogen into the system here, so uh, it has to come from somewhere. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so I'm going to now run my my oil here, and ideally, the magic will start. He's going to get oil, he's going to create three hydrogens and a graphene, graphite. He's going to pull two of those hydrogens in, actually he's going to pull all three of them in. <laughs> and eventually he's going to pull enough of them in that he's going to be full. And I think I'm also going to stuff these guys full of this oil, because I don't want it myself. And as soon as he gets enough graphite, or sorry, enough hydrogen, he's going to let one through. 
And as soon as that happens, he's going to pull that in. He needs uh, he needs three in Toto. So he's going to let th one through each time. And then now, when this guy gets his third one, he's going to turn on. And he's going to start spitting out three hydrogen. So now they're both right. Now we've just doubled our doubled our speed. So they're going to get down to this one faster. And then it's going to go around. And what it's going to do is the hydrogen is going to go all the way around to here, loop around, and then come back, and then come out onto this line. And then that's going to give us more hydrogen to send off to Happy Land. Uh, meanwhile, the graphite, the energetic graphite, is going to uh, go to the things we're burning which I, I had them all set up here, but I'm going to actually uh, set up new ones here. So we're going to have this come back down and just go across like this. And I don't know exactly how many of these things we can burn, but I, I think we can stack them three deep. So we're going to go one, two, three. One, two. Uh, we'll just do two here. We'll probably fix that in a little bit as soon as I can go three deep. Can't go three deep here. I can go three deep here. No, I can't go three deep here because of uh, the thing. Um, but so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start. Uh, and that should be enough to get these guys going. We'll see, we'll see how that how that burns this stuff. Um, notice we're already like it took so long to start the first one. We're already looped around halfway, and uh, we're we're sending the hydrogen down into all these things. So these are working, which is awesome. Um, and this should, once it loops all the way around, be just the right number of these to eat this entire belt of uh, of oil. And I think it might actually create a full belt of hydrogen. Which means that this belt of hydrogen is actually, uh, we can't do it this way. Because this belt of hydrogen here is going to, uh, this needs to be a full belt. So I think I'm going to run this hydrogen up this way. And I'm going to connect it to here. And then, uh, let me actually, there we go. Connect it to here. Meanwhile, this belt, I'm going to raise up over here. Lack of item. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take care of that. <laughs> let's go ahead and get some more belts. Fashion. I also laid out a lot more of these wind turbines here. And then, uh... Oh, strange manner. That's nice. We're getting closer and closer to being able to, uh... warp, which is nice. That's kind of what I'm going for now, is warping. I'm going to, uh, let's see. Oh, that's annoying. Looks like I might never be able to, uh... get this first one, but that's no big deal. I can do this. And actually, I might be able to squeeze this guy in here. Nope, I can't. Um, we're also backing up on the graphite, which means I need more of these guys. Collide with other object. Really? If I click and drag, it doesn't work, but if I just do it, it does work, so hey. I uh, need foundation support. Oh, he's got... Like I said, I don't know how many of these I can, I can support in uh, Collide with Other Object. Oh, now he's starting to... These guys need to be out one more. And... A 
we'll see if these guys ever get graphite. <laughs> uh, I can actually feed oil into these guys too. Might as well. But anyway, I think you get the idea of what I'm doing here. Uh, and this will get us a lot more power. And it uses the same number of resources as it did before. Uh, and it looks like now that uh, now that things are running, I actually need more of these things. So I think I'm going to foundation this and do all that. But uh, I need to take a little break, and I will uh, I'll be back when I when I get this all set up. All righty then. I've basically figured it out. Although now it's backing up. Um, it seemed like this was the exact right number of these machines. But maybe because we're not running at, yeah, we're not running at 100% satisfaction, so that's why that's not coming. I would rather run at worse satisfaction, or, or have these sitting around, I should say. I would rather have that than uh, have the graphite back up, because the graphite backing up is causing this to back up, or this to not happen, so... Collide with other object. Oh, we had that problem before. It collides with other object if I do it wrong. There we go. But these ones, nope, these ones I can't do either. Yeah, I'd rather have I'd rather have these machines sitting idle when we're using more power then have these machines back up because uh, because we're not generating fast enough. And let's see. Yeah, these guys aren't backing up. This guy's starting to back up on graphite. Only him though, which is nice. So nobody's backing up on their inputs, which is which or their outputs, I should say, which is important. And I would rather have see. And actually, now that now that I've added these two lines. Notice this is actually caught up and only a little bit's getting by. But when we have more usage uh, or when we have less usage they'll, uh, they'll be used. Okay, anyway, what did we want to do here? I have forgotten. Oh yeah, we're, we're researching. I, I've changed my research plan here. Um, we're going for the information matrix, which is going to give us um, uh, oh, we got carbon nanotubes, which is going to give us uh, the drive engine, which unlocks mecha warp. We already have uh, the ability to make... Are they here? Yeah, we have the ability to make warpers. Um, so I want to concentrate on making warpers. And warpers, uh, the recipe that we can do right now, is um, a lens. turns into a warper. Uh, a lens takes diamonds and strange matter, and strange matter it requires a... Um, uh, whatever you call it, a particle collider in order to uh, collide hydro or deuterium, <laughs> which uh, will then um, get stored in one of those containers. So we need to make deuterium, which requires um, a fractionator, uh, which we, I, I, there you go, deuterium fractionation, I have done. So I need to make fractionators and I need to uh, make a loop of them and do all that stuff. Uh, I, I did that last game, and uh, I kind of liked the setup that I used, but I'm going to try a different one this game, just because, you know, this is the game where I tried different things. This is the, the, the series where I'm trying different things. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do this fairly simply. Um, I'm going to make a little section where I make fractionators, uh, and I guess I'll do it over here. This seems clear. Uh, let's put it right here. And, uh, actually, stop requesting stuff, supply. <laughs> uh, the minimum load of drones, let's make it that, and, uh, yeah, that's annoying. Because I want to delete it, so I, now I've got the silicon in my inventory, but, oh, well, what are you going to do? Yeah, it's annoying that, that those things get copied with their stuff. I'd, I'd rather they were copied, like, either with supply instead of demand or with uh, something, I don't know. Um, anyway, we want one of these because a lot of the stuff that we're going to be getting is going to be coming uh, interstellarly. Um, but we want uh, we want to provide fractionators. Uh, that's the particle collider, oil refinery. It's around here somewhere. There we go, fractionator. And we're going to need to request 
Oh, lots of things. Steel, stone, glass, and processors. Um, several of these things we're not making. So let's go ahead and request some steel, stone, glass, and processors. And then we're gonna, going to limit these things to like 100 each. Uh, let's limit them to 500. Yeah, let's limit them to 100. We're not going to make too many of these. Um, eventually this is going to all be done in a mall, but uh, right now we're, we're not at the point yet where we want to make a mall. And we're going to see what's actually being demanded, uh, what's actually being supplied. Uh, steel. <laughs> so stone, glass, and processors are not available uh, anywhere. So we need to take care of that before we do anything. So stone and glass is going to be smelting, and processors is what I was going to do next when I... Um, when I uh, had to come back here for something. I also am hurting really bad for, uh, I'm hurting really bad for uh, iron because I'm not, uh, I'm only smelting like one smelter thing of it and uh, that's starting to hurt. And I think I'm, I might be taking some of that and making steel, but I, I don't think that's true actually. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm making steel. elsewhere but uh so let's go ahead and uh get off world here there we go and where's our other moon i could use the thing but i'm too dumb to do that it's got to be on the other side of the of the gas giant there's no way i'm not seeing it okay fine uh smelteria it's right there. Uh, oh, it's dark. I, I can pretend that I didn't see it because it was so dark. <laughs> um, but uh, so let's see all the the all the the lines of smelters and stuff. Let's see, are right here because there's our red. Yeah, red and can I put this silicon in here? I cannot. Okay, fine. We'll deal with it. Um, but I need another one of these iron uh, lines, and this this might be overkill for a single iron line. Although, I mean, I have plenty of iron, so really that's apparently not a problem at the moment. So I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make processors. Um, I'm going to um, I'm going to make them over here, and I'm actually going to look and see how uh, how many things they go. Because one of the reasons I did it this way is I wanted to be able to uh, if we bring out one of these, I wanted to be able to find something that would that would match up with this well and put it here and then run them here so so that we we don't waste too much space in the middle and it's possible that processors are going to be that thing so um let me make sure that i didn't already start them. oh i did already start them that's hilarious i haven't been back here in a while so yes i did already start them i think i just ran out of stuff so so i must yeah i did already do the calculations and it and it was too far so so that's why processors are here okay well i'll finish this build up and get these processors running and i will be back in a minute all right this would be so much easier with uh blueprints but i've got it okay well, let's explain let me let me uh let me sum up there's too much um to make a belt of processors, which is the goal, uh, we need two belts of um, circuits, which is this belt and this belt here. And we also need um, two belts, I'm sorry, four belts of silicon, which is one, two, three, four. Um, the four belts of silicon is all for these, these things here, which we've got basically this this here goes out and then it goes all the way down there and then turns around and comes back because it's too long to fit on one thing because we need 60 of these processors so we need 30 of them this is 15 <laughs> here's another 15 and then 15 and 15 back um at least i hope i did the math right on that so um what's going to happen is these are all going to go down these ones here are shared between both of these sides these ones only go to one of these so then we've looped it around and gone to these and i could have run one down this way and one down that way and now that i think about it that would have been smarter but i've already set this up and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna change it now um we've got inserters pulling off of both of these lines here and then these inserters only take off of one of these uh and then these inserters here take off of both of these. Um, they, these guys feed in from the side on, into the, each of these guys, except for on the endpoints where 
they're the same, so this one goes this way and this one's going to go this way. And in order to do this correctly, these two here are the same, so I can copy these two. But then this one has to copy to here, and then the one on the other side, which is this one, <laughs> has to copy here, and none of them are the same going down, so I have to do them separately, <laughs> basically. So uh, what I have to do is I have to do one, two, and then this guy can be here, one, two, and then he can come down here, one, two, and then that's all I can do, those are the only ones that are the same as those. Now this one here has to go here, here, and uh, that's it, and then this one on this side has to go here, here, and finally here. And then I have to do the same thing on all of these. And I'm actually going to delete these guys because I, I don't have any guarantees that they're, this, that they're correct. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I'll bring you back when I turn it on. Okay, I'm very close. I've got this one to copy. And then I need to plop down power poles and I figured, you know what, I've had to suffer through. You might as well suffer through some of this as well. <laughs> so let's get this thing powered. At least figure out how to power it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, right here. And right here. That powers everything. Yes, it does. Okay, and then that implies that right here and here will power everything. It doesn't. So I'm going to go here and here. I'm caring less and less how how much I save on power poles. It's like every three is what I need. One, two, three. A little bit of overlap ain't gonna kill anybody. And then we're gonna turn this thing on and see what I screwed up, basically. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, what did I miss? I did not place him here. There we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Almost there, and I gotta put one right on the end here. And it won't fit in there because I've tightened these. So we'll put a one, two. It looks like I missed another one. Right here. There we go. Oh, and then I got this whole other line here. So we'll put it... We'll bring it out here. Why not? And I think that powers, no, it doesn't power everybody. Looks like I missed one of these as well. And uh, there and there. Looks like I at some point went from one side to the other, but it doesn't seem to affect whether or not things are powered. So now I can power this. Uh, Which is gonna which is gonna drain some of the power out of the thing. I'm gonna pump the minimum load of drones up, and then all we gotta do now is connect these things, and it should. Oh, keyword being should work. And this one I let go a little bit farther because uh, we have the thing where we can't place the uh, the belts if the machines are already down. So I had to lay the belt a little bit farther. So these guys are running. We are making processors, which is good. Uh, we are, um, these guys are making, they're putting their stuff into these processors. Uh, the processors aren't quite getting them fast enough yet, but they should uh, once everything gets saturated. This guy is not getting anything. He is getting his stuff, so he's fine. We're spitting processors out as far down as this. We've already got all of these. Uh, yeah, this guy's leaning heavy on this uh, silicon belt, which is fine for now because it's it's still loading up. That's that's fine. We could pull from both of these if I wanted to, but there's no need to. Yeah, this could have been made a little bit tighter by by taking this silicon belt away and this sil or the silicon belt over here away. 
Um, I'm a little worried that I actually made the recipe twice as big as I need to. <laughs> but the, the copper is coming around as are the um, as are the circuits. Although that's mostly because the silicon isn't coming all the way down. But we are making processors. Slowly. Let me count. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, so it's fifteen on a line, thirty, sixty. That's that's what we want. So this just needs to it needs to to accrue all of its uh, all of its resources as it goes. But we are making processors and they are being supplied. And as soon as we get to four hundred of these, somebody should take off and send him back home. Um, and as soon as we verify that, we can head back home and start uh, working on the other parts of that thing. And actually, when I say go back home, what I really mean is stay here because we need, um, uh, what do we need for these things? Uh, the fractionators, uh, they need processors, which are not making it. We need stone and glass, which are actually very, very simple. Um, stone and glass are essentially, has somebody left? Yeah, somebody has left with the processors. He has taken them away. That's him probably right there leaving. Nope, that's him staying. He's heading off this way, I assume. Yeah, there's a ship that said processor on it. So he's taking it back to the home. Um, let me just verify that we are not actually making stone or glass anywhere. We are not. We're making steel, we're making copper, and we're making iron. Uh, so I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a stone thing that's basically like this iron one, and I'm gonna make a glass thing that is basically uh, like that as well. And uh, there's no need to watch that because that's me being boring. And I will come back when I come back. I'll be on the uh, home world um, setting up the fractionators. All right, everything is set up. We uh, can now come back here and see that we actually have everything we need to make fractionators, and they're gonna be somewhat ridiculously stupid to make. Um, I am going to make a line of them because uh, they take a long time to make. If you look here, uh, one of these takes, oh, if I actually set it as the thing, uh, there they are. One of these takes three seconds to make, which isn't actually all that bad, but it's going to be like four and a half seconds because we got a garbage <laughs> machine here. So um, I need like hundreds of these. So I think I'm going to do... Let's say six. Why not, right? And uh, they require four different things. So actually, you know what? I'm gonna do all six of them out like this. And they require four inputs and they have one output. So we're gonna put three inputs on one side and three inputs, uh, two of the inputs on the other, or one of the inputs and the output on the other side. So um, it doesn't really matter except for the, uh, the order. Um, steel should be on definitely on an inside lane Probably on the side that only has two things on it so we can put two inputs on um, And everything else uh, Stone and glass can be uh, on the the two out the two out more out outer side lanes <laughs> and uh, Processors can be on the, the third outside lane and then the thing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do steel uh, Let's see right here this is going to be steel, and we'll send it out to here. This is going to be the return belt. This is going to be um, stone. This is going to be um, glass, and then this is going to be processors. And I forgot to set the glass one. So uh, glass. There we go. Then we're going to have uh, input, 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 output. Then we're going to set up uh, just two of these to power everything. Then we're going to copy. And helps if you actually are powering them though. <laughs> and there we go. Let's make sure that they can actually get their ingredients. This looks like they're still not going to get their glass. But yeah, they're, they're slow on the glass, but there's nothing I can do about it. If we want to get everything else fast enough, 
we need glass to uh, to be on a, on a second tier belt. So not a big deal. Like I said, these things, the, the important thing about these things is just that we're making them. Um, also, we need more steel than we can actually give these guys, which is funny. Uh, oh, lack of item. I got, need to go get more belts. This is why you need the, the higher tier belts, but we're on the cusp. We're, we're getting close to, to being able to, to do those higher tier belts. Uh, as soon as we make our mall. But in the meantime... Uh, let's bring steel. Let's see. How, what's the best way to do this? Probably just run it around like this. And then delete this guy. And then run him back like this. That way, three of them get... Three of them get uh, steel, and then three of them get the other steel. And obviously we need more steel than we have. We're asking for a hundred, let's ask for a thousand. And uh, glass too, let's ask for let's ask for a thousand glass and a thousand stone as well. And maybe let's go up to two thousand steel. And do I happen to have these in my inventory? I got a little bit of steel, I'll we'll go ahead and plop that in there. And uh, we already have 57 fractionators, so so really this is overkill, and that's perfectly fine. I want it to be overkill. <laughs> I want to have too much stuff uh, being made, but that's fine. Uh, but as soon as we get 100 of these, which uh, will happen pretty soon, I'm going to take them and I'm going to put them somewhere. Um, and I have an idea for uh, a layout, but I'm going to do that next time. I hope uh, you're looking forward to that. I'm definitely looking forward to doing it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed playing it. I'm Superfluous J and I will, as always, be a mere 20 fractionators away and talk to you later.